Hello folks and welcome. So I have a video for you today on the XFCE desktop for MX. Uh, this is in response to a comment that a user made the other day when I was doing a video on uh, USB backup using rsync and scripts. And his comment was, I, I like to use grsync to accomplish the same thing. You know, grsync can do some of the stuff that I made mention on my first video. So I'm gonna compare the two on this video here. I'm gonna show you some of the benefits of using scripts, especially if you're doing multiple folders to do to back up multiple devices also. I'll show you an example where I'm taking multiple folders and copying them on two different devices using one script. But I'm gonna cover up GR sync or GR sync today and regular R sync. In either case, folks, welcome. Today I'm filming in 1080. Also, your player down below should have a gearbox where you can change the different resolutions. Uh, all my videos also have a little text underneath them. And one of the lines I make in there for comments is I advise watching the, my videos on the largest screen possible for you. Because a lot of times your mobile devices are too small to see a lot of the text, for instance. In either case, you can also watch my videos on the uh, big screen TVs if you have a YouTube app on those smart TVs. Just take a look at the uh, logo down here. So in either case, folks, welcome. None of my videos are, again, are under two minutes, but they all have timelines and chapters. So I encourage that you read the about section and take a look at my uh, community tab to do keyword searches, especially looking for that video that I was making mentioned earlier. That's uh, in regards to rsync and scripts for USB backups for this uh, distribution of MX, XFCE. So our user for today is Bob. Bob has some devices. He has two, a USB backup drive and a USB stick, uh, 14 and 220 some odd gigabytes. Uh, obviously the backup drive is faster. They're both connected to your USB ports, but I'm gonna use both of these to show you some backups today using uh, GRSync and also using scripts um, using RSync. All right, so what is GR sync? So GR R sync or GER sync, uh, some people call it, uh, GR, GR sync or uh, GR sync, however you want to pronounce it, um, is a graphical version of R sync. And where do you get it? So I'm going to highlight that word, hit copy. Well, go to your MX menu and open up the package installer, log into your package manager. And my username is Bob and do a search for that. Normally you have to hit uh, enabled repos to see it. Once it finds it, just uh, click the little box next to it and hit the install key. So um, the difference on the GR or GR sync versus regular R sync using scripts is this is limited as far as source and destination normally to one folder and one source under normal conditions. And uh, I just recommend that this doesn't overwhelm new users. Just keep the defaults. Just think about it this way. This is source and that's destination. That would be copying documents to USB backup, for instance. You have starting with file, you have browse the source. It's the same thing as clicking open. Browse destination. It's the same thing as clicking open. Switching source and destination is basically switching these two. And this key is not normally on, so I'll turn it off. And uh, that's what that normally looks like. So you could just click that instead of having that preferences turned on. I just wanted to let you see what it does. Okay, I'm just, all I'm doing is switching source and destination. That's all that does. You can have a simulation, you can execute or run it, and you can also see the command line, how it's gonna perform this action. So it's gonna be using rsync. rsync with some options. The dash r, dash t, dash v, double dash progress dash s. It's going to take the source, which is in this case, Bob's documents and send it over to USB backup. That's what all that junk means. Stuff means stuff. So preferences, you can turn some things on and off. Under sessions, what's a session? When you uh, create a source and destination, you can create sessions by that plus key. And this is some of the examples right here. So I have couple of examples. These are just typed in names that uh, whatever they do. 
and they go from source to destination. That's sessions. You can also delete those and import them from other sources. Your help is about and our sync information. Okay, other than that, um, you have a contribute button also. Down here is your default session. It normally opens like this. And then over here, you have the plus to create the trash can to delete the whatever session. And that's a dry run. In other words, it just would click that and it's going to show you what it's going to do. Okay, so right now it doesn't have any source or destination. And there's a play button here. Make a full run or go, in other words. So let's do the go. I'm going to use that and I'm going to use documents for this example. So we're going to hit uh, source, which is, uh, what are we going to pick? How about the little USB stick there? So it's going to copy my documents, which is here, into that device right here. So I'm going to hit run. And it's right in the process of finishing. Okay, all depends on how fast the USB device is. All right, completed successfully is what you want to see. Now, what happens if you don't mount these first is you'll get an error. So, in other words, uh, if you are unmounting these, you obviously won't see the USB stick, but you may see the USB backup drive. It all depends on how they unmount. But you want them mounted. You want to have that symbol before you start this process. So, if I wanted to send that same... Well, actually, I'll do a different one to the USB backup. So I'll click on open source with music this time and send that over to USB backup as an example. And hit the play button. So right now you can see that it's actually copying the songs and the music folders. Uh, that's probably the heaviest one that I have. So it takes a couple of minutes to sync that, even though that's a USB uh, solid state drive connected to a USB 3 cable, it still takes some time to copy some of these folders because uh, this one has a lot of stuff in it. My music folder has all these albums and they all have songs in them. So far, so good. All right. So basically, we're doing this one folder at a time. That's what GRSync. When I get into scripts in a couple of minutes, what this one does here is this is, a, this is actually a launcher that launches a script. And it's going to copy three folders into both of those devices. You'll see that in a minute. But let's just focus on, on GRSync for a second. So we have this menu, sessions. Again, a session is just like shortcuts. Then we have advanced options and extra options to confuse you some more. If you just keep the basic options, then it won't overwhelm you. And you can do the simple copy one folder to a destination. So far, so good? Hopefully. All right. You can, of course, click and de-click a lot of this stuff and find out a lot of this stuff on your own. And you can also look up GRSync on the, on the Internet to get some more detailing on this stuff. But this is generally the source is the um, folder and the destination, of course, is the drive in this case. One folder at a time. And again, you can create sessions. They do functions, in other words. So... You create one for, let's say, music to USB backup, and you call it something different. You can call it, you give it a name, in other words. All right, so that's that. Now I'm going to show you something about what this does. But I'm going to do it in a different way. I'm going to actually resize the box, and I'm going to open up a second window, because I wanted you to see this. And it's going to perform not only one, but two sequentially. So what I'm going to do here, so I'm going to click the USB one and, and eliminate the folder totally and drag this downstairs and click the USB backup and eliminate that. So both of the USB stick and the USB drive are empty. There's nothing in here. You can see that's 14 gigabytes and that's 223. Now I'm going to click this line right here and I'll show you what the script does in a second. So right now it's going to copy several folders, starting with the USB stick. And then it'll move on to copying folders downstairs to USB backup, which is the hard drive, USB hard drive. Now both of these things are formatted with uh, FAT32, so that means I can share them 
with not only with another Linux machine, but possibly Microsoft Windows or a Mac. You can, of course, format these with extension 4. However, you need to deal with permissions when you do that, because normally when you format your USB devices with extension 4, it takes on the ownership of a root. You can, of course, add yourself in. Now, the reason it's taking a while is because my music folders are the, uh, well, they're the, the biggest or the heaviest. They take a lot more space. Okay, I don't know how many I set. It looks like uh, maybe two folders. And uh, that one's doing three. So the first one did two and the other one did three. So document and music went to USB one and documents download and music went to USB backup. What is doing the magic in here? I'm gonna right click on edit launcher. Right, it's just a made up name. It's a made up comment, but the command line goes over to points to a file. That file is located in my scripts and is called to disk backup script and I gave it a bunny icon to have some fun. So we will look under documents, my scripts, and two disk backups. That, that's all, I, all it's in there. So it starts with the bin bash statement. Again, I encourage that you watch my other video, the first one that I made. And the bin bash statement, all, all it states is use born again shell to run our sync. Our sync is gonna sync up documents to USB one. It's going to rsync music to USB 1. Then it's going to move on to music and rsync that to USB backup, which is a different device. And then it's going to rsync documents also to USB backup. And then the last item was downloads to USB backup. I can also add more lines. The nice thing about a script is I can edit this all I want and leave the launcher totally alone. So I'm going to close the launcher uh, edit box for a second. You just leave Mr. Bunny here for a second. And then I'm going to grab a hold of this line right here. And I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to click at the end of USB 1 and hit enter. So it'll leave me a blank space. And I'm going to paste that line in here. But I'm going to edit this music thing and call it downloads. You can put whatever folder names you want in here. Now I'm going to hit save. So now what it's going to do is I'm going to walk over to here. And uh, you remember there was no downloads in that. As soon as I rerun this script, it's going to ignore all of these because there was no changes made. But it's only going to sync up this folder right here, the downloads folder from that script. Let me run, run that script. And it's pretty much done. The cool thing about this also is this. Let me go to downloads for a second. I'll let you see what's in here. So I have um, two folders and two text files. I'm going to add a third folder. And I'm going to call this one uh, test um, 99999, whatever. Just adding a folder to the main download folder. So now I'm going to click this and click that's USB 1 and this is backup. And I'm going to rerun the script. And it's going to be very fast. It's pretty much done. Now I'm going to verify that by going and uh, there's test 99999 in this USB backup. This is USB 1. Test 999 here. Once I rerun the script again, if I make no changes to any of these folders, sorry, wrong one, USB 1 and USB backup, they're currently identical, and they're also independently resizable, so I can make these bigger if you like. But when I rerun this script right now, nothing's gonna happen, because there's no changes. The script is finished. However, I can also go back to uh, GRSync and do this a little differently. So we're gonna deal with uh, the music folder for uh, Bob. So let's click on his folder here and resize the icons. And I'm going to add a folder name. I'm just going to call it test888. This is going to be added to um, the home folder Bob Music, right? Okay, so I have that sitting here. And I have a music folder here and here on USB backup also, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rsync using grsync music to backup. 
In other words, this one here only. So that's one, it's finished. So let's look at music. Let me resize these. Now you can see that the folder name is right here, okay? Let me resize that back. Okay, test 888. This one doesn't have it. Why is that? Because uh, I'm using an independent one statement only with GRSync. However, I can fix this by go going to here and doing that and then rerunning this. I'm going to leave this open. This is a USB 1 a Media Bob USB 1 Music. As soon as I hit that play button, it's going to create that test 88 folder right here. It's done. So you could use both. You could use scripts and GR sync also at the same time for independent sync ups for a single folder, single device. You could also write sessions. You can write many sessions. You can also write scripts and many scripts. Very versatile scripts. You can do simple scripts. I call this as a very simple script. All it's doing is, is rsyncing folders to devices, in this case, two devices. But it then this is more versatile than using grsync because I'm doing one, two, three, four, five, six folders to two different devices. That's the only difference. This is, again is a launcher. This is a script. This launcher points to that script. I can create other launchers to point to these scripts. You can also use grsync to independently sync up the same folders by just pointing from source to destination. So there's multiple ways you can use grsync versus scripts using rsync. They're all using rsync no matter what. This just does a single folder to destination. This one here happens to be multiple folders to multiple destinations. That's the only difference. Hopefully you found this video informative. Thank you for watching.